Hi, I'm Leibert Brussard. I'm the chairholder in soil biology and biological soil quality. I was asked how our research relates to organic agriculture. Well, actually, in our research, we look at the capacity of the soil to provide plants with nutrients, to suppress pests and diseases, and also to maintain and enhance the structure of the soil. So you may call these three aspects chemical soil quality, biological soil quality, and physical soil quality. The soil biota play an important role in each of these, because it is the soil biota, especially the larger soil organisms, that burrow into the soil, thereby enhancing the capacity of the soil to infiltrate water and to aerate the soil. It is the microorganisms that transform dead organic matter and thereby release nutrients that can be taken, by, taken up by plants. And it is the interactions among the diverse uh, organisms in the soil that are important for preventing and controlling pests and diseases. Our research is in three themes. Fertile soils, soil biodiversity and soils in a changing climate. In our theme on soils in a changing climate, we study the effects of the soil biota on the greenhouse gas balance of the soil and on maintaining soil quality. We have two challenges here. One is to understand these biotic processes and the many trade-offs and feedbacks that control them, and the other is to secure soil quality under changing and increasing claims on global soil resources. In this theme of soils in a changing climate, we focus on two research areas. One is soil organisms as drivers of the greenhouse gas balance of the soil. The second research area is sustaining soil quality in a changing climate. In our theme on soil biodiversity, we are interested in the conservation and utilization of biodiversity in agricultural landscapes and how soil biodiversity is associated with so-called ecosystem services, like water infiltration and water retention, and resilience against all sorts of stress and disturbances. Broadly speaking, the theme soil biodiversity is about, firstly, soil biological interactions and spatial relationships in agricultural landscapes, and secondly, biological indicators of soil quality. In our research theme on fertile soils, we study the functioning and management of the soil biota in food production systems. For example, we want to understand the role of the soil biota in supplying the plant with nutrients. Because nutrients also interact with the soil matrix, we have chosen biological chemical interactions in soil as an important focus in this theme. More specifically, this theme is about two research areas. One is soil biological activity as related to soil organic matter, soil structure, element and water cycles, and nutrient and water use efficiency. The second area is the role of plant roots and mycorrhizal associations in micronutrient speciation, interactions, transport, and uptake. projects for students with a BSc background in biology, environmental sciences, earth sciences, climate studies and the like. In Wageningen you can't do a BSc in organic agriculture, but if you have a degree like that from elsewhere, that's of course super. If you want to combine your MSc thesis project with possibilities offered by other chair groups, that's not a problem at all. And we can arrange that for all the chair groups that are mentioned in the MOA A program. Hi, my name is Lara. I'm a student of, uh, master student of soil science under the soil quality department. I am studying the effect of root exudates of nitrous oxide emissions, which is nitrous oxide is a greenhouse, both in greenhouse gas, and uh, um, I'm testing different wheat uh, genotypes to see whether they exude. Uh, other phenolic acids, organic acids, into the soil that may decrease or mitigate the emissions of this potent greenhouse gas. Yeah. My experience working with this group has been really rewarding. 
I have met from lab technicians that have 30 to 40 years of experience. They can teach me the practical side to the theoretical side. That they take their time. I have met students with different backgrounds that enrich my research and my knowledge. And I have met several professors where they can direct me in the correct um, pathway to finding out more things about my research and how to the relevance and how to encompass this in my studies and my professional career. Well, I can tell join in. The Department of Soil Quality is really small. It's really cozy, familiar, how they say it in, in Dutch here. Um, the classes are small, the teachers are always available. It, it's like a family here. And um, you have a lot of opportunities and they take their time and effort for you. So it's fun. It's working with family. I am Bandu Barat. Uh, I am a master student of soil science. I am doing a uh, master thesis uh, with, you know, under the Department of Soil Quality. Uh, I am doing my uh, thesis research on effect of mycorrhiza and phosphorus availability on anti emission. And I am looking for my research objective is uh, how mycorrhiza uh, effect on anti emission and that anti emission uh, is affected by also uh, phosphorus availability. Doing a thesis resource in soil biology group is so, I think it's very interesting and the group is very uh, helpful and small group so we can, you can put your idea and your resource objective and you can discuss with the teacher supervisor, you can get better su uh, supervision from teachers and you can get your money interesting and you can learn many things from this small uh, so if I have raised your interest, we will be more than happy to work with you. So join the master student group here in this beautiful Atlas building. And before that, find some more information on our website.